so weird I'm sitting down. Hi guys, so welcome. I am in a different little setting. I have my coffee cup because we're starting a new series today and I'm really excited about it. It's called Coffee Sips. Yeah, I'm gonna sip. Sip. Mm. Anyways, so Coffee Sips, I decided to go on Instagram and I asked my followers, hey, ask me all your coffee questions. And they asked me questions and I answered and now I'm gonna go over them and answer them a little bit more elaborately. That's a word. So here I go. First question is best affordable electric coffee grinder for starters. This is the part where you can sit. Bodum Bistro. It was my very first grinder that I've ever used and it worked for a really, really long time. I think we had it for like six years before it died and it's really, really good. It's, it's a good grinder. Not too expensive as well. I think like you could maybe get it for less than $70, like it'll go on sale. But yeah, Bistro Bodum, Bodum, no Bodum Bistro. And yeah, it's great. And I'll put a link in the description. Okay, second question is, what is Hello Kitty's favorite coffee? Now, if you guys don't know, I love Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is, she cute. And she is a sophisticated lady is what I'm going with. I need to sip this. Oh boy, I keep forgetting. So she, probably would drink a cappuccino, but it would definitely be before 11. She would have the rule that she has to drink a cappuccino before 11 because that's Hello Kitty. That's what I think. Or maybe a cortado, maybe a cortado. Yeah. So that is my answer to beautiful Hindu Kiki. How to make coffee that will taste decent if it gets cold. Help a teacher out, please. If you make coffee in a like in a regular like pot and if it gets cold, honestly, add ice. It is totally not a crime. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna make it taste bad. I think everyone does that and it's not that bad. Like if you wanna add like a little bit of creamer and some ice, totally worth it. Now, if you don't have access to ice, e, e, I don't, I don't know how to help you. The more expensive route, if you don't want it to get cold at all, and if you want to keep it warm forever, is an ember mug. I could put, I will put a description in the bottom of that as well. Ember mugs have changed my life. Like this is already pretty cold, but it's good to not have hot coffee all the time. It's good to taste it cold or it getting cold because you need to know, I don't know, like taste, the flavors of coffee is just so, so crazy, but yeah that is my answer so they asked me washed or natural okay so wash or natural that is hard because most coffees are washed so pretty much the difference between natural and wash is for wash coffee usually goes through water and it gets washed and the like the pulp off of the seed gets pulled off the seed itself and not the whole cherry cherry and with natural it basically just lays on <clears throat> what's happening <laughs> uh lays on the floor and naturally dries and the, the the cherry pit like pulls off that's the difference so for wash you're gonna taste more of the flavors of like the bean in, uh, itself. Like it, you are gonna taste, yeah. So you'll have more of the flavors of the bean. Now natural, it's gonna be flavors of the fruit and seed itself. So it'll definitely have 
a lot of different flavors. I like, I don't really have like a, I guess I don't have a preference. It's not that I have a preference, but I went with wash just because that is what we do at our farm in Guatemala. And it's actually a really fun process to watch. Maybe camera lady will put some clips, insert clip here. When and how did your passion for coffee start? Mm. I started about five years ago uh, when I met my husband. We were, I think we we're just friends actually. We weren't even dating. He taught me how to make an arrow press latte, which is really fun. I actually really need to make a video on that because that's not very common. So he taught me how to make an arrow press latte, and, we, and I kind of went from there, like learning how to make coffee. And he, my husband has taught, like he's the one that he is definitely the coffee knowledge person, and I have learned so much from him, but. I also the the coffee farm kind of <laughs> kind of did it for me because I saw very different spectrums of coffee right now to coffee in a seed and it just kind of is super mind blowing that coffee is a plant because <laughs> that's not what you think about when you're drinking coffee you like it's like a bean and technically yes it is also is a bean but it is a plant and wants to see beautiful plant rainforest just crazy what is my favorite coffee at the moment so my sponsor <laughs> bottomless i really like mythological 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 is mythological mythological is the name of the coffee it was in ethiopia and it's a honey process and i could probably send you a Put the link in the description but so i never really have a favorite coffee like yeah i really want to drink this today like especially when it comes to origins and things like that i really really love my my sponsor bottomless because it's something different all the time and it's really good especially i think as a coffee drinker like i think personally like and i guess the advice that i would give to anybody is it's always good to have more than one like different coffee that you like like i'm never i'm never gonna like just one origin or whatever like it's good to have you know espresso blends and different like different origins of blend like a colombia ethiopia whatever you know like all the spectrums it's it's really good to try that like obviously uh i normally do get arabica coffee and i haven't really had Robusta very much recently, but it's I think I think I like whatever is presented to me <laughs> Dark roasts are a no-go for me is what I have currently learned But I'm still learning and I know one day I will find a good dark roast that I like I don't know if I said did I say good before? Mm. Mm. This is a Columbia. This is also from bottomless yeah, I just really like Bottomless, <laughs> and, and, and it's not because they sponsor me, honestly. I just really like what they do, and I like how different coffee I have, and the end. Last question is, best cold brew machine for starters? So I don't know much about like specific cold brew machines. I've never really experimented with that. The machines I do have that I could tell you is so recently just got new espresso machine. Stay tuned guys for that because we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. So I just got a Rocket Espresso M Milano, Milano, Milano. So I have that. I have an air press, a Chemex, obviously I have a super simple V60 and a French press. I don't know if those are machines or not, I don't know. But that's basically all I got. The only like, I guess, machine will be the rocket that I have. And I'm still learning. To answer the cold brew question, <laughs> went on a tangent. A, a French press works just fine. I have a puck puck, and I will also put the link in the description, and that is specifically for an AeroPress. That's why I don't really like, I wouldn't suggest it, because I don't want you to go buy 
two things. I don't know. If you just want something simple, a French, I think a French press works really, really well. Basically, a puck puck is like a thing designed for cold brew for, for AeroPress and it works really, really well. We have done a video on it, so you could go back to my AeroPress video. That is my answer to you. And that is the end of all the questions. Woo! I didn't finish this. Oh well. So yeah, that is pretty much what I got for y'all. So if you like this, and want me to answer more questions, definitely answer my stories on Instagram. That is where I'll ask, or maybe I'll ask on here. Actually, you know what? Why don't you just down in the comments below? That's how, that, is that what people say? Is that a thing? Uh, so yeah, down in the comments below, ask me your coffee questions. I don't even care, you know what? Just ask me a question, I don't even care what it is. This has been the longest period of time where I haven't filmed. <laughs> so I am back filming and it is very exciting. Ooh. It's kind of nice that I'm sitting down too and just chilling. But yeah, we're back uh, full throttle. Uh, I have kind of been like MIA, I guess from filming because we're starting a coffee business and it is so, so exciting. Tavo Coffee, uh, definitely follow my Instagram for more updates, but yeah, we're starting a business and it is so, ex I'm so excited. If you like this video, if you liked what this is all about, definitely also, you know, click the like and the subscribe. I know it's there like on the little corner, so yeah. And this is all I got for you guys this time and until next time. Hello everybody! So today I'm going to talk about my beautiful sponsor, Bottomless. So Bottomless is a Wi-Fi scale and essentially what it does is it gives you coffee and it tracks your coffee through the internet, the beautiful internet. So you go online, you order a bag of coffee and it comes with a free scale. You don't have to pay for the scale. And then it gives you coffee. And then what happens when it runs out? Well, it gives you more coffee automatically. And there's so many different rotations, like if you just want decaf, if you just want a specific type of origin, all things like that. And there's just a vast variety of coffee. And you could also pause it as well. So if you don't want coffee anymore, it's totally cool. And that is bottomless in an entire nutshell. And yeah, it's a subscription service. They're really great and they have a really cool concept. So yeah, bottomless, they're great.